beautiful part of nature and they are truly beautiful to look at. As spring arrives, you start to hear the birds singing melodiously. It's such a lovely hunch to hear the chirping birds sing their beautiful songs. They are God's loveless creations and each bird has something to give us. They fill the air with a tune and make one's heart fill with happiness. Friends, do you want to hear more about birds? Now you are going to watch more facts about various types of birds. Welcome to SkySift 2021. Hi everyone, I am here to explain the shape of a bird. Have a look at this bird. The body of the bird tapers at both ends and it is called streamlined. So what is the shape of a bird? It is streamlined. Of a bird. Today I am going to show you the two movements of the wings. Now this wing is moving up. This is called upstock movement. Now the wings are moving downward. This is called downstock movement. Upstock. Downstock. Hello friends, this is a model of parrot. Look at the beak, it is sharp and curved. This climbing bird has two toes at front and two toes at back to hold on to tree trunk while climbing. Hello friends, here we have a model of swan. This swimming bird is having webbed feet, flat beak. Swan has webbed feet with thin skin connecting their toes. Flat beak, flat beak with holes at the edges with the beak. They scoop up muddy water that has warm insects and small plants. The water flows out through the holes, leaving the food inside. of a woodpecker. Look at its beak. It is like strong pointed chisel shaped. It helps them make holes in trees to catch insects. Woodpecker is a climbing bird. It has two toes in front and two at the back. It helps it to hold on to the trunk of trees while climbing. Hi. This is the model of our common bird hen. Look at the beak. It is short and strong. Hen comes under the group of scratching bird. Look at the feet. It is flat with sharp claws that help to scratch the ground and get their food. You know, this feet and beak are real. model of a wading bird. Wading birds walk in shallow water. They have long legs and widely spread toes to walk in still to water. This is a model of a penguin's nest. Penguins are flightless birds. They live in cold regions. 
Since they do not find leaves, grasses or twigs, they make nests using small stones. A nest of a penguin is called a clutch. A clutch usually contains two eggs. to nine feet. It is the only bird that has two toes on each foot. Their eggs are biggest than all eggs. This is a hummingbird. Hummingbirds are small creatures that is three to five inches in length. They have long narrow beaks mainly used to extract nectar from flowers. Their eggs are dull white in color. They can fly both forward and backward. nest. I made this nest with sticks and used coconut fiber for the seating. Eagle build its nest at the top of the tree. Eagle's nest is called airy. a tailor bird's nest. I made this nest in a small branch using long leaves, coconut fiber and cotton. Tailor birds get its name from the way their nest is constructed. Look at this nest. Do you know who made this? Yes, it's the weaver bird. It makes its nest with its beak using leaf, grass, plant fiber and twig. The nest is cylindrical in shape with the nesting chamber in the middle and it has an opening at the bottom through which the bird enters. This is the model of a bird feeder. We keep food and water in it during summer season for the birds. Hello everyone, look at my beautiful friends. These are my Robbie and Ruby. I like my pet birds very much. Every morning I spend some time talking with them. I really enjoy being with them. They are zebra finches. They like to eat spinach, fresh vegetables and fruits and grass seeds. The scientific name of the zebra finch is Tania pedigutata. My lovely pet birds, budgies. They are my best friends. I love to be with them. Budgies are most popular pets in the world. They are also known as common parakeet or shell parakeet. Thank you.